selling your gold for a restaurant. Yeah. How do we know that these coins were the coins that were stolen? There's nothing that identifies a coin. But your spidey senses must go off a lot, though, when people are trying to sell things. Did you know that SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2023 Silver Eagles? Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Hi, we have a Hi couple there. people from Massachusetts, Massachusetts, right? Yep. What is your um, cheapest uh, corner on sovereign gold? Um, hmm. I don't know if you can have any. Let me see. So you're stacking gold today? She's stacking some gold. I'm stacking some silver. <laughs> <laughs> Are you new to uh, Tim's? First time. Mm -hmm. Yep. First time? Yes. Well, that's wonderful. You didn't see you this? Didn't see that. <laughs> have you you have you ever held a 100 ounce bar? No, I have not ever held a. Can she? She sure can. Yay! It's a, if we had two of them, you could. Do, it's hey, better yes. than a workout at the gym. Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah, I bet. Wow. That is some weight to it. What do you think? That's really wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, people don't realize how dense silver is because you know most of what people buy are one ounce yeah mm -hmm. but um it just seems like it's a lot heavier than a hundred one ounce yeah <laughs> like, ounce 100 ounce. exactly the same way it just seems very heavy because it, it, it is really a dense metal so what brought you to tim's you the channel? Watching your channel. Yeah. Really? I've been stacking since about the early 2020. Okay. Very nice. Very uh, nice. Let me get you a seat. Thank you. And you got the gold you're after. Wow. Mama likes gold. You like the gold? <laughs> yep. How about the silver? What you guys are the same on the silver or slightly yeah. different? Yeah. Yeah, we both like the silver. Rounds, bars? Cheap. 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 She likes expensive. I like oh, cheap. Oh, okay. So there is a little difference here, right? <laughs> the, uh, those magazines that get in the mail get her with expensive yeah. high premium coins sometimes. Yeah. Perth Mint gets her. Yeah. The Perth Mint. Yes. yes. You're a sucker for the Perth Mint. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> high premium silver. Yeah. I'm like, oh, there's an otter on this one. Can we get Yeah. So what is uh, like to slide around if you want to uh, staple that? You certainly can. Yeah. Is that your first eagle? First quarter ounce first coin. Quarter ounce, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That's wonderful. We have a uh, quarter ounce bar, but not a coin. Oh, okay, yeah. Like these, the yeah. IGRs. Those are nice. Wow. I'm not I, sure. I like the. Coins yeah. a little better. <laughs> I do too. I like the sovereign coins better too. Mm -hmm. COVID relief is what got me into stacking. Mm -hmm. They want you to think inflation is because of Russia, but it's not. It's because of printing money. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim. It's nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I'm looking for. Oh, um, Oops, sorry. oh you're done, but okay. he's not. No. That's uh, easy. Get a tube? Yep, yeah, tube of buffaloes. Very nice. Okay. I don't even have to put those in there. I can count those myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Thank All right. you. Hey, take well. care. Hey, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you both. All Thank right. you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. First time here. Another first timer. I've watched your channel for years. Oh, well, thank you. It's been a little while, but like for a couple of years, we watched it when I first started. It was... Uh, it Do was you mind fun. him on as well? You mind being on YouTube, bud? Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right? <laughs> okay. So, um, some of these. Ooh. This was the start of my collection, and we have a restaurant in Epic to expand. I have no idea how to sell gold, but I have the receipts. I bought them from. I bought these from. Not you, unfortunately. I sold this. I sold my uh, my Jeep, and uh, wow, it'll work out. Hey, it'll make money. It's it's there. liquid. Liquid uh, assets right there. What style of food is at your restaurant? It's Thai, so it's like Thai food. Uh, like 
like pad thai. Uh, have you ever had that? Or like uh, drunken noodles? I haven't, but my, uh, one of my daughters and her husband went on their honeymoon in, in the southern peninsula of Thailand. Really? And, and they love Thai food, so I'll have to give it a try. It's, What's it's the name fun. of the restaurant? Boon Thai Kitchen. Boon uh, Yeah, right near Walmart in Epic. All right. right. Well, I know exactly where that is. Well, I included that. If you're over in Epping, check out his uh, Thai you. restaurant. Awesome. Thank you. So uh -huh. selling gold for a restaurant. Uh, yeah. But it's a good thing. We'll do some expansion. Booth seating, maybe knock down a wall, something good like that. Good for you. Good for you. So that's interesting. So with YouTube, you have like, are those like little microphones? <laughs> yes. Nice. I just, this is the first day I've tried this tech that's with Tim. Cool. I was trying it around the house with my son, Little Stacks, and he says, it's working well, Dad. I think it's ready for Tim. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, your channel was big, but then just during COVID, it seemed like um, yeah. it grew a lot. It really it did. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's when I got into it. Too. One of these days, um, we're going to uh, sponsor Yankee and have a, uh, a Yankee-style yard sale. <laughs> with uh, Everything you see in this place is going to be in that yard sale, right? Oh, wow. I told you a long time ago, everything in here is for sale. Well, okay, well, we got to talk about that some more. I told people, I think on one of your videos, that I test everything that comes in. And then for you. I, once I didn't, and so well, you said you test everything. So, <laughs> I test everything. <laughs> Just look at the brackets. The buffalo's right in the center of the brackets. Uh, the Britannia. Is right in the center of the brackets, nice. and the um, what's her name, Fortuna? Yes. Yeah, she's uh, closer to the center on the obverse than she is on the reverse, and that has to do with it. No, it's, it's not right in the center. Right. Nice. And then the American Eagle. Eagle. I may have to use a, a wand for this, but um, uses a different setting because. It tests the conductivity, the inductance, um, the uh, density, and in the conductivity because this is not just gold. It also includes some silver, which is a higher conductivity. Um, so you have to use that setting. This is a really nice That's... tool. If you're going to be stacking big time, yeah. you want to invest in something like that. As American Eagle has its own setting. Uh, the other one that does is Krugerrand. Does this work for anything besides coins, too? Because we have, my wife has a lot of, like, uh, jewelry and stuff like it that. It has to have a flat surface. Okay. So if you're trying yeah. to test a ring, it's almost impossible. Necklaces. Even with a small yeah. wand. I mean, it has four wands. Um, they range from the same size as this and then down to a smaller size. Okay. But you have to have a flat spot on the jewelry to test it. Oh. And it doesn't test you know, beyond 22 carat. Oh, below, okay. Lower than 22 okay. carat. I still advocate for the pocket finger for a quick and dirty uh, tester, especially if to you're see doing if it's like it. Real, real huh? gold? To see if it's like. Uh, yeah, real, real silver, gold. real gold. I, I, you know, keep that in my pocket if I'm buying. It's nice to have that portability and just ping it, and you can check the description of the video to see that link. Did I buy that during the pandemic? I think I did. It's probably a 20, is it a 2020. Uh, 2021. Oh, actually. okay. So after. Yeah. All right. Or Very nice. Kind of. Buffalo was 1947, but they it was actually 1835, and then they charged me a hundred extra. I guess they had a commission for it. Yeah, it's called a uh, premium yeah. or markup. I don't know how anybody relates to the premium, but it, the, all the other things, you know, the um, number of watchdog agencies that are looking at your transactions is a factor when you're selling online. Um, whether or not you take a wire transfer, it's another whole story. Um, credit cards are another whole story. And it's, that's why we, we take orders over the phone. Uh, we quote a price and we handle the shipping and insurance out of here. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have to um, put you on any computers. That's cool. But it's everything. Um, if the IRS or the FBI or Homeland Security, with the flexibility given to them under the Patriot Act, they just go to your bank and ask. Yes, yeah, they do. They yeah. do have to stop by a judge and mm. convince the judge that you're under investigation for some crime, mm. and then it's a rubber stamp. Um, because they have the flexibility of getting that information anytime, 
they don't bother with checks. Um, so, you know, you, they can't put everybody under investigation or the judge will get tired of being, being right. woken up in the middle of the night for a rubber stamp. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Um, but that's the safest. That keeps you off a government computer. They um, use a debit card. Mm -hmm. That's a, another government computer. Uh, wire transfer actually goes to, through the um, Federal Reserve of Washington. That's and yeah, no matter how, how the transaction is done, they keep putting you on more and more government computers. I mean, who charges sales tax on money? That's t technically the problem. That's the problem. That They're should be unconstitutional to charge sales tax on money. And American Eagles, American Buffaloes are fifty dollars a piece. Uh, that should be illegal. I don't know if it is or not, or whether and states like New Jersey even care. But um, yeah, there are about eight. eight states that still charge sales tax on gold and silver, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. No, it doesn't wow. make sense to me either. Yeah, that's, that's... So selling your gold for a restaurant. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I figured gold's gone up a bit since I bought it. Mm -hmm. um, to get a loan would be 9.25% at least from the bank. So it seems... Maybe I'm not thinking right, but it seems like indirectly making 9.25% by selling it per year instead of getting a loan. So yeah, that's my yeah. weird logic. I've got like a lot of silver, um, yeah. a lot of stuff from the 80s, but I think it was expensive back then. It's like, I think I was buying silver for 40 and now I don't even know what it was. It was a lot of money. Oh yeah, then. during the 80s, sure. Yeah. So that was- The bad. Hunt Brothers uh, had, had a say Baseball in that. Baseball cards, bad. Silver okay. in the 80s, bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, but, um, yeah, I figure this, put it towards, I mean, this won't be much, but, you know, this with some other stuff, uh, maybe upgrade the restaurant. There's a lot of questionable uh, discussions about coins. And um, let's say constitutional or junk silver mm -hmm. is a good example. And there was a case in, I believe it was in New York City, where a dealer had purchased a lot of, uh, constitutional silver that would, had been reported stolen, okay? um, you know, subsequently reported stolen. But you know, they, you buy constitutional silver, you hold it for whatever the period is, and then you sell it. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, they claim no, it's, this doesn't make any sense. How do we know that these coins were the coins that were stolen? There's nothing that identifies a coin. You know, a quarter, a half dollar, or done. Interesting. <clears throat> so they went to court, and um, whatever the decision was at the lower court, it got bumped up to a higher court, and then the New York um, Supreme Court. And so they pursued it to the U.S. Supreme Court. And I think the timing wow. is like 1987 or something like that. Okay. And um, the decision there was. There is nothing that identifies a dime, a quarter, a half dollar, or whatever the coins were. Um, and I think it was it was the it was either a hung jury or something in the in the the lower court. But um, Supreme Court said there's, no, there's nothing that identifies these coins. If they, you know, if they came in a certain bag, and that bag was you know one of the bags that was reported stolen. Um, there's a possibility you could make that link, but as far as the coins go, there's no way of making that link. So they may be kind of exempt from these types of ordinances? They should be, yeah. Should and I, be. Think they, I think technically they are hmm. uh, because of a Supreme Court decision, or maybe it was bumped back to, you know, because they didn't want to hear it because it's obvious, it's obvious there's no way of identifying a quarter and saying, yeah, that's my quarter. Right, and you've run into this probably a lot when you see stuff come in here and you're questioning in your mind whether this is stolen or not, there's no way for you to know, No, right? and um, <laughs> most people are actually, like this gentleman, uh, they show the receipts. Mm. And that that is very helpful because um, you know, all you have to do is look at a receipt and there's, there's absolutely no restriction. That's cool. And these things, you know, if you... Uh, you have proof that you owned it. Right. You don't even need to fill out these technically. They have asked us to have on file every purchase, so I that's see. why I have to That's why you do it. On the house, they get a bunch of stuff. They could just sell it, and it would be... Questioned? 
Yeah, how they know. Yeah. Like how they know it's stolen. Well, I had a, had a case where a fellow lost a uh, his father's ring. And it had an inscription inside that I questioned when oh. the individual who stole it had brought it in. I questioned, and she had a very good answer for the engraving that was inside the ring. A perfect answer. Okay. okay, that makes sense. But that's jewelry, that whole ring story. Coins like this? I mean, There's no way of identifying a coin. I mean, if, you know, this is different because it has a serial number. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to take it out of the card. It would be stupid. Mm. Uh, but no, no coins. It, you can't say a coin belongs to you. There's no, no identifying characters. But your spidey senses must go off a lot, though, when people are trying to sell things, even coins, that you know you is know, just not right. The, the, yeah. the amount of people who have proof of ownership is probably in the 99 or 98%. Oh, that's higher than we, I thought. We that's just, great. We don't often get people who, because they... They don't want to have to fill out any paperwork. And, you know, if you're stealing something and you're, you know, living under a bridge, mm. um, they know where to go. Oh. <laughs> and then it's not here. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks so much for coming in here. Yeah. For Tim. And thanks nice, for agreeing nice to, to be you. videoed. Pleasure. Thanks a lot.